Our last video compared Denuvo to UWP and found UWP took much longer to crack than Denuvo. This is a follow up to that video, so watch that first if you haven't already. Link is in the description and in the top right corner. We were scheduled to cover the history of UWP, but we felt we first had to address a few concerns raised in the comments section of our previous video. This video is a short response to those concerns, following which we will cover UWP's history in the next video. To start off, let's address the people who disagree with calling UWP a DRM. Our view is concordant with Dizier, the guy behind one of the earliest bypasses for UWP, about which he had this to say. It's DRM built into a new OS. We'll go through the rest of his statement later. If you're curious about his bypass, we'll cover what it is and how it worked in our next video on the history of UWP, so please like, subscribe and press a bell button to know when it's out. To further defend calling UWP a DRM, we need simply to point to Codex's release notes. In their first crack of a UWP game, they clearly list UWP as one of five layers of protection, in the same breath as Arxen Anti Tampa. This is the same category they list Denuvo in, so this validates our decision to compare Denuvo and UWP in terms of piracy resistance. Furthermore, UWP did incorporate extensive anti piracy measures, but more on that later. Bottom line is, no matter what you call UWP, the numbers we crunched are indisputable. For more detail, watch our last video if you haven't already. But long story short, UWP games resisted piracy far longer than Denuvo protected titles. That being said, UWP does have multiple other functions, but we admitted as such in the aforementioned video of is Windows 10 exclusive UWP, short for Universal Windows Platform. Though unlike Denuvo, it is much more than a mere DRM. We'll explain its other functions in our next video. Universal Windows Platform is an application programming interface that can develop apps that run on Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, Xbox One and HoloLens without the need to be rewritten for each. However, the consequence of this is that Universal Windows apps only install through the Microsoft Store and run only on Windows 10. In other words, Universal Windows apps are incompatible with earlier Windows operating systems, which makes the name rather ironic if you think about it. Games developed for UWP are subject to technical restrictions. The game files are protected, leading to difficulties modding the game. There is no EXE, meaning you can't add the game to Steam, use Steam Overlay or use Fraps, which we confirmed still doesn't work. This begs the question, did crackers run into similar problems with the tools they usually use to modify game files? Is this why UWP took so long to crack? Only Codex knows for certain, as they're the only group to release a proper crack for it. Since they've said little to nothing on the subject, the community is left to guess what took them so long. Let's look at a few other guesses and evaluate their probability. No one cares about games released on Windows Store. Games with UWP are bland and unpopular. They are not worth the effort to crack. This is both incorrect and irrelevant. It is incorrect because UWP exclusives include big budget franchises like Gears of War and the critically acclaimed Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport series. It is also irrelevant as this is not how the scene works. Scene groups strive for the glory of being the first to crack something, no matter how popular it is. If they did care about the game's popularity, titles like Pure Pure Tetris and The Two God Eaters would never have been cracked. Furthermore, cracking a hither to an unpirated platform is a milestone that carries great prestige, which was proven by Codex making headlines across the tech press for cracking UWP for the first time. We can thus conclude that to crackers, UWP is of equal if not greater interest than Denuvo. So if not due to lack of interest, why did UWP take so long to crack? As we don't know for certain, we'll present the information we dug up and leave you to decide what makes the most sense. In August 2016, Windows 10 received a more secure encrypted App X format to prevent modification of UWP apps. With these changes, when the user installs an app from the Windows Store, it will get encrypted on the fly using the encrypting file system feature of Windows. Once encrypted, app files will not be accessible for modification even if full access permissions are granted. This component of UWP was specifically designed as an anti-piracy measure some would even say DRM. Just one month later, users reported the encryption caused severe stuttering in Forza Horizon 3 and later other titles like Gears of War 4 and ReCore. 
Decrypting the game in real time is very CPU intensive, diverting resources away that could otherwise have delivered more performance. The encrypting file system was soon broken, though the wait for a proper crack would continue for a long while. Nevertheless, a few bypasses were released and the hacker behind one of them, Dizia, had this to say. These Windows Store apps are not regular EXEs. They 100% depend on the UWP API. Windows does not support running them from the Explorer CMD. And that also means that they cannot be just simply downloaded and ran. You need to install the game through the Windows Store or with PowerShell, and even then you can only play through the Start menu and not through directly running the EXE. I would also like to mention that the Xbox DRM is not directly built into the EXE, but it is scattered all around in system critical DLL files and that you cannot easily access or modify. Some of these DLLs contain way more than just Xbox specific code. It's likely the Xbox DRM he's referring to is what Codex would later record as XB Live in their 2018 crack note. De nouveau cracker Voxy also tried his hand at UWP in 2017, but ran into problems with Arxen anti tamper. Interestingly, scene groups have had no problem cracking Arxen in older titles. So, why did they take so long to crack UWP? Were they just unfamiliar with the radical new way UWP's APIs do things? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. To wrap up, let's address the people who disagree with counting Handball 17 as a Denuvo game that has lasted the longest without any crack. This is objectively correct, but a few felt Handball 17 was so obscure we shouldn't even have counted it. If we did, the game that lasted the second longest was Unravel, which was cracked 511 days after its launch. If we ignored that too, we'd end up with Just Cause 3, which was cracked 455 days after its release. With each step, UWP's margin of victory increases greatly, which further cements the conclusion of our previous video. Either way, we stand by our decision of recognising Handball 17 for being the Denuvo title that has lasted the longest time without a crack. Some disagreed with us calling Denuvo a DRM, wanting us to use its official self-designation as an anti-tamper instead. Indeed, we have done so in the past but refuse to do so any longer as Denuvo pretty much acts like a DRM of its own accord, checking licenses and locking people out of their games if the servers go down. No matter what they label their service, it does much more than merely protect existing DRMs. The technical definition of a DRM, short for Digital Rights Management, is a set of access control technologies for restricting the use of proprietary hardware and copyrighted works. DRM technologies try to control the use, modification and distribution of copyrighted works, such as software and multimedia content, as well as systems within devices that enforce these policies. We believe this is a perfect fit for Denuvo and we shall use this term going forward. That wraps up our response to the last video's feedback. We will deliver on our promise of exploring UWP's history in our next video, so please like, subscribe and press the bell button to know when it's out. Do you play Rainbow Six Siege or Dota 2? Check out the other channel for analytical guides for both games. Link is in the description and on the screen. While you're here, feel free to watch the history of loot boxes, the founders fast, how Nvidia is delegitimizing their MSRP, and our four-part Denuvo analysis where we explore its history, its performance impact, and why developers stick with it even after it's cracked.